Hello and welcome to video three, three, three of my three in a row unboxing that I filmed all on the same day, but I'm releasing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I hope you've enjoyed, or if you've not watched the other two, go check them out. You might find them interesting. Um, but today we are talking about Geek Gear Wizardry. Um, so. <coughs> One, th one, one thing I do know about this is that there is a new monthly collectible because um, Pod of Opits Susie um, posted a, a line in her video description title the new monthly item, which technically is a spoiler, but I suspected it was going to be a new monthly item, so yay! Um, it sort of confirmed what I already knew. So yes, last year we had the charm bracelet. Now, obviously it's only the silver charms that are the, the free, so I've actually placed them in chronological order. So you've got the acceptance letter, you then have the owl, then you have the sorting hat, you have the very tiny broomstick, then you have the snitch, you have the flying key, and then you have the flying car, you have the sock, you have the knight bus, you have the feather, you, then you have the love potion. And I guess then whatever the number, the twelfth item was going to be, um, they never got around to it, or maybe they didn't, they designed eleven, like... <sighs> So I can't remember the order they actually released them in now, but obviously we had a missing one and I guess they just jumped over that and didn't design a 12th, perhaps? But yeah, I um, because it was the, the 12 one that wrote, the, the, the tokens that I wrote were quite small and floppy, I decided to put some blue beads in it as well because Ravenclaw. And I think it just fills it out nicely and um, gives it a nice full look. So yeah, that's what I did with mine. And no, I'm not wearing it because it's quite heavy. <laughs> also, I have trouble getting it on and off. So we have a new monthly item, which I have no idea what it is. I remember, because every time I say, oh, the monthly items. So th last year, 2020, was the um, the charms. The year before was the tea, which I always forget. And then the year before that was the um, recipe cards. So we have a t-shirt. We have an art print. And we have a new monthly collectible item that I have no idea what it is. Also, if I'm sounding a bit throaty, that's because this is the third of three videos I've been talking non-stop for almost an hour now. So, yay! The things I do for you, to give you, the audience, my lovely loyal subscribers um, and people who watch. And if you if you just watch but don't, aren't subscribed, uh, thank you for being watching. That's nice. But also hit subscribe. It's my birthday on Monday and it'd be nice to have more subscribers. Um, but yes. All the all the algorithm stuff, um, but yeah, let's let's dive in. Let's let's see what we've got here. And so the quicker we get through it, the quicker I can rest my voice before I have to do even more talking for the podcast that I'm involved in. So hey, that's fun. So yeah, let's pop it open. And ooh, all right, right on top. I don't know if this is the thing. I guess I won't find out until, the, until we actually open it. But right on top, we have a pin badge. Which is Ron Hart, Ron Love Luna. And it's quite a big one. <sighs> it's the new collectibles pins. I don't know how I feel about it because I was actually subscribed to the pins. Um, there's a playlist for that. Um, I don't think it would be because it's probably a bit more original than that. Um, but yeah, there we go. It's because it's quite big. It's got a double pin on the back. Um, got, got some weight to it. Where's my uh nope not that bit because I noticed um on the spider badge that sometimes if you excuse me great killed it now huh my torch needs new batteries one moment hello again um I didn't I haven't got new batteries for this one yet, but I do have another torch. And yeah, so not so much with this one, but I've noticed sometimes if you put some of these under a UV torch, you get like a interesting effect. 
eh, it's it's cute, but it's not really like a glowy glowy. My other torch. I have a lot of torches. So cool. Pin badge. Like it. T-shirt. One boot. T-shirt looks like it's a whole lot of potions. Which yeah. Um, I'm not going to try and attempt to name them all because, you know, probably did it wrong. And writing underneath, what does it say? Potions, a subtle science and exact art. I like that. So yeah, um, different shaped potion bottles and obviously different colours and shades and that one's, that one's acting weird. It's not finding its own level. That one does, I don't trust that one. Um, very cool. I like it. I like the sort of simplified um, design of it. I don't like the fact that I've accidentally steamed my glasses off. Excuse me. <sighs> I do like that we have a nice clean t-shirt that I can wipe it with. So yay, t-shirt time. Like like it. Oh uh, yes, apologies if my enthusiasm seems eh, the normal. It's just that, like I said, I've been filming all afternoon. Maybe I should have split up. Lots of worm dudes. We have a mug, which is a licensed mug, so I don't think this is the collectible. Um, I'm kind of on two ways about licensed products now because, um, okay, without getting too political, trans rights are human rights. Um, so yeah, take from that what you will regarding why I'm like two minds about licensed stuff. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, this obviously came in a box, I didn't choose it. And there are a lot of really nice licensed items out there, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm not overly keen on directly giving certain persons my money anymore, so uh, take from that what you will. But, very well wrapped. Appreciate the wrapping. Uh, first year students travel across the bl big black lake Hogwarts. That's actually really nice. That's a really nice mug. I, I already have a bajillion mugs. Uh, this will probably go in the in the pile with all the other spares. But yeah, no, this is nice. I like it. I'm gonna leave it in the box for now because I'm pretty sure that's just the design. Of, um, yeah, I don't think it's probably the same design on the other. Yeah, it looks like it. But yeah, no, that's cool. The students crossing the lake. Very pretty. I like it. Ooh, that looks nice. I see something with colours on it. Okay, so we have. Actual chocolate? Is that actual chocolate? Or is that like another sign? Um, it's got ingredients list on the back. Wizards Mag uh, Magic Original Chocolate, 55 grams, 100 recyclable. I don't know how I feel about this actually being an edible, as opposed to another s sign. Because chocolate is chocolate. Yeah, it's in foil. High fibre, only 1% sugar, vegan friendly, gluten free. This may taste terrible. If you like low sugar, vegan friendly, high fibre, gluten free chocolate, then you're going to love this. To me, it just tastes kind of blah. Not terrible, but yeah, it's just like dark, like dark chocolate, but not even an expensive type of dark chocolate. That's kind of meh. So I guess we have an early lead for least um, nice item, the least most not as impressed item. I, that's another reason I'm not overly keen on edibles because I'm, I'm buying things to collect them and then. An edible, obviously, not something you can collect. The tea, it's a bit different because it's like one, I actually haven't tried them yet, and two, you know, if you push it outright, you've got um, quite a few. This is interesting. Oh, I think this is the collectible because I think that was mentioned before. So we've got the game card here, and here we have kind of a um, so this is a like a poker type token, so it's like bravery with the Griffin Sword on one side, and then we've got the Lion and Courage on the other. So I'm hoping they do a whole bunch of these tokens, because like I said, I'm Ravenclaw, so 
If they've done house tokens and they sent me the wrong one, I might have to talk to someone. But this might be... I don't know. I don't know what the collectible is until I find the cheat sheet. Alright, I have a cheat sheet. I have a piece of art. And then I have a thing that went, ooh, colourful. So we'll get the art out first. And it is Thestral. Oh, you see my new light. Yay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got a really nice, I really like this artwork of a Thestral. Again, Zavi exclusive. Um, published by Pyramid International. It doesn't say who the artist is on here. Um, so I'll um, check who that is in a second. It should be on the cheat sheet. So yeah, um, that is nice. I like that. Very, very cool. Very moody. And then we have some kind of rainbow bordered pennant. Um, just, okay, I haven't unscrolled it yet, I don't know if you know what this is about, but love, loving those colours. Really genuinely liking those colours. Sorry, headphone users, as quick as I can. And... Ooh! I actually get why I'm putting this up. He himself likes this sort of stuff. Why couldn't it be full of the butterflies? Oh, that's cute. That is very, very cool. I like that. It's probably embroidered as well. Um, probably, I don't know if it's hand embroidered. Is that... Oh, no, I was going to say, is that double sided? But no, it's because I'm looking at it in the thing. Why can't... <laughs> so now you're seeing it backwards, but I'm seeing it right way around. It's kind of cool. But yeah, you can see the, um, the stitch work on there. Is very very cool, and then obviously the I might actually get over it and put this up somewhere. I like that. That's really cute. So let's see what the cheat sheet has to say, and then they'll work out what is the actual new theme collectible. Hello there, you magical creatures! A massive thank you from all of the Geek Gear for purchasing a Geek Gear Wizardry box. It is our hope that these items have we have designed and carefully packed for you in this box this month will bring you joy and magic to your door. Thank you for being part of an ever-growing family. We hope you love the items as much as we love you. Aww. So, potions t-shirt. Licensed exclusive Thestral print. Follow the butterflies pin flag. So you designed to put the... Is that why there's all this white space on here? Pin flag. Courage. Courageous lion coin. Licensed exclusive Hogwarts Black Lake mug. Exclusive wizard chocolate. Um, with a chocolate edible exclusive monthly pin RNL. So, is the pins that is the um collectible item? Although, I do hope they're doing uh, if they're doing like this, I hope they do other house coins as well. That is quite cool. Um, yeah, so it looks like it is the pins. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, so, um, I'll explain in a second. So, yeah, it looks like it is the pin that is the collectible. And then obviously you've got the option of having it hung on a pin banner. So I don't know if it's just literally um, each month we're going to get a different pin or we're going to get a different pin and a, a different um, banner or maybe every other month we get a new banner. Um, so yeah, no, that's, that's cool. But the reason I said, oh my God, is because I just turned it around and there's Potter Puppet! There's Susie! She's like, so it looks like they're doing Person of the Month again. And I know when they did Person of the Month originally, that Potter Puppet was on there before. So maybe I'll get a second turn. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, so, um, well done, Susie. That is awesome. Um, yay you. That is very, very cool. Uh, but yes, it looks like they have done um, what I hope they would do with these new style of cards, new style of cheat sheets, and that is they've got different aspects and different adverts and things happening on here. Uh, so we have Truth Serum, which has more text but I can't read it properly because I'm getting old. Lost Toad Found. If, have, if you have lost a toad, please contact this number. Wizard's Chess Tournament. <laughs> okay, so this is quite cute. Um, so we've got located in the centre of the village 
under the hovering marquee with the giant knight. So she's on top. Hard to miss. Um, invigilators for this year's tournament will consist of the champions from last year, um, two representatives from the um, WCS Wizard Chess Society, and a dash hound named Albert. No. So you've got name, address, dominant hand, likelihood to cry upon defeat. Yes, no. So I like that. And then sublime stationery. Uh, and I vote for that. And then again, five galleons. So, yay. Definitely going to keep these. I think these are quite nice. I like the new style. Um, loving the... Okay, so... The new monthly item is a monthly pin. I like pins. That's why I was surprised at two pins. Um... So conceptually, I like that idea. I also like the idea that we've, they've given us a banner. As of yet, obviously, I don't know if this is the only banner we're going to get. And in, in theory, all the pins should be able to fit on it. But we think, given how large this is, I mean, what are we looking at here? So let me just try and... Uh, if they're all this size, then I'm hoping at some point we get another themed pin. Like another banner. So, assuming you start, so obviously you've been close to that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, sixty, yeah, maybe like if they're all a similar size, you're looking at maybe getting six on here, and then maybe they'll release one mid year. With another one, you can like a, a balanced set. Uh, for now, what I'll probably do is pop this away nicely, safe, collect up the pins, and then. See what happens. I've got a load of pins. If we're going to get more of these canvases, then I'm definitely going to think about ways of displaying my pins. If it's just going to be one, maybe two canvases over the year, then probably just stick with the, the pins they give us. For now, I will pop this back on its card, which is just realised it is lavender because I noticed there was a plant on it, but I was like, oh, of course it's lavender. Um, so yeah, as a collection item, interesting. Like I said, I've had their pins collection before. I don't know if there's rejected ideas from pins and now they've decided to repackage them. Um, so I'm not against the idea of a pins as the monthly collection. I just, compared to the, even like even the recipe cards, you know, you got, hey, you got a whole wizardry cookbook. You've got a whole selection of different types of tea. You've got, you know, super cute charms and such. So in terms of comparative to the other collectibles, it's not as original a concept. Like I said, like if they've been these kind of poker style coins, even that would have been slightly more original of a concept as a collectible. However, pins are cool. This is cool. Uh, I was having a thing with huge pins, unless you're like gonna specific wear it specifically. But this is cute. I like it. I do like this. Um, I'm hoping they do um, coins for the other houses as well now. Like I said, this is it's cool, but it's not my house. So if you can really sell the houses, that'd be nice. <sighs> I really do like this. I love this is very cute. I like it. Um, I'm gonna have to say though, I think my favorite just because of the art and the thing. This is probably my favorite this month because Thestrals are really cool, and this is just a really nice artwork. It doesn't say who it's by, does it? No, it doesn't. It just says license exclusive special print. Um, if you're the artist, I really like this. If you're the artist, feel free to say hello. I've, I've noticed um, artists have done that before now. Does it say on here in the copyright notice? Uh, no, it doesn't need to say who the artist is here. Feel free to comment if you're the artist because I really like this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to with this being my favourite item just because it's really pretty. I do like the banner. I do like the pin. And yeah, least favourite is is going to be the chocolate because it's an edible that obviously isn't going to last very long anyway. But also, it's not, for me personally, it's not the nicest chocolate I've ever had. I, even for, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate generally, but even for dark chocolate, it's not a nice one for me. Um, but yeah, uh, if you happen to like dark chocolate, then you probably might enjoy it. Uh, I, will, I will eat it, you know, I'll keep the box nice. Uh, I'm sure Susie's like, yeah, that's something else for the, her um, her sweet shop shelf. So yeah, I need to rest my throat. I need to sort of dinner. I need to tidy up all this mess. So I'm going to say, hey, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe and all that other good stuff. 
Um, I really appreciate it, especially like I said, I'd, I'd like a few more subscribers for my birthday because, you know, who doesn't want something nice for their birthday? Um, especially since I don't think I'll be able to see my family because of everything. So yeah, um, I'm waffling. If you have been, thanks for watching, especially those of you who are still at the end. I appreciate you. You're awesome. I'm Michelle. You've been listening and I will see you next time. Bye!